morning, everyone, and welcome to day number 779. Tonight is going to be an awesome time with our crew here. Guys, it is absolute chaos in my studio for the last two hours. Um, it actually started, to be quite honest, with Dickie Dawson from The Shill sending me a message going, dude, you're getting some <clears throat> hatred out there on some other channels because people are blind um, that are screaming that you're delivering no aid and stealing the resources. Don't you just love it when people do that stuff? Sure, I'll be glad to put you in the truck with Jane and I and take you and let Shahid's fly over your head and uh, tell me what aid you're dropping there. So I don't even waste my oxygen with it, to be quite honest. I enjoy it. That means you're doing something right. But however, it made me... Um, uh, one second. I'll get you... Coming at you, Paul. Um... I'm doing multiple things here at one time because I'm getting our mod in the right place. Multitasking. That's a musician for you. Um, so the reality is after that, I went Slow in grade. and you guys usually know we put the thumbnail up. We get everything going early and you can get in here and start chatting. And then I started receiving the messages. Guys, hey, man, you, you, where's the stream? Da, 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 da. The mods were messaging me and come to find out. I was locked out of my YouTube, guys, completely. I could not even make a community post to warn you to do nothing, but Dickie Dawson helped me, and we figured her out. Now, I have streamed almost every day since the pandemic, like five years, and it's never happened to me. So is it coincidence? Heck no. Something's going in, in the, out there, so... Make sure your passwords are secure. Make sure all your network stuff is secure. And, um, yeah, take care of yourself. So let me do one more thing here. Paul, there you go. We should be good now. Um, so tonight, guys, got a great panel. We've got Genia from Ukraine. We've got Dick Dawson from Canada. And we've got Professor Gertis from down south. Professor Gertis is going to be running in and out because... He has a lot of children, and he's feeding them dinner at the same time. But the purpose of tonight, talk about Ukraine, get some updates. Zhenya's going to get us updated on the news. And tonight, the big deal of why I need help. So my wife is in the other room managing the spreadsheet and the PayPal. I'm watching the Buy Me a Coffee, and we're going to do a raffle. The raffle is going to take place in one hour and a half, 90 minutes. And as we get closer, I will... Um, put a timer up, but I'm going to get us going. So that's where we're at. So the flag tonight, you guys have seen it, and many of you have already started putting your name in the hat. Here it is. This is a frontline flag signed on the zero line by Fish, and he puts the message up there about Ukraine, and then one of his partners that works with Fish is an artist, drew this picture of Taras Shevchenko on it and autographed it. And this flag, folks, is not from Amazon. This flag is from the Zero Line, the war in Ukraine, a real treasure and um, just a sign of gratitude. So at the, at the same time, we can say thank you. We can do all of that. And you had the chance to win one. Last week or last Sunday, I auction, we rallied up, rattled, raffled off the first one with Rick, the Ukrainian, he was helping me learn how to do it and all of that jazz. And um, that flag was won and already sent to the UK. So we don't waste time. We don't play around. We'll get it to you. So thank you for being here. I want to get everybody in here now and we'll get going. Panel time. Here you see Zhenya in Ukraine live. You see Professor Gertis there with the beautiful backdrop. And we may see him running in and out and Dickie Dawson coming in from Canada, the shills. So thank you, um, all of you guys, for being here tonight. I'm going to let it go. We'll start. Everybody say their welcomes. And Professor Gertis, you take the reins. I'm going to check with my wife and check everything. Sure. Before you do that, guys, if you want to buy a raffle ticket to win the flag tonight, all proceeds, every penny, going to the Armored Snatch. The Armored Snatch right now stands $244,748. Is that, un Dick, 
you're in my studio now. <laughs> Don't play with the big boys, son. Don't play with the big boys, okay? We can do it too, brother. I can even give the Dickie Dawson if I need to. Um, so we're at 244, but the truth is we're way beyond that because other donations have come in over the last couple of days. They just haven't processed through. So it's like last week we were about 210. I promised you guys that there was a big jump coming, and we went to 240. There's going to be another significant jump come over the next week, but officially, as of this moment, 244, 748, and tonight we're going to add to that total by raffling off this flag. Now, I personally carried this flag to the zero. I personally, with Genia, returned this flag from the zero, and Fish did all the magic. So, um... Thank you. $10 per ticket. If you want your name in the hat five times, it's 50. Two ways to donate. We're monitoring, monitoring it real time. If you do buy me a coffee, don't worry about the 5%. We'll take care of that. The full thing's going to the snatch. But if you just generically do buy me a coffee, all I see is someone bought a coffee. At least give me a handle, YouTube name, anything so I can identify you. With that said, somebody just bought some coffees a moment ago as someone. Please message me back. Reply to me with your real name. Get you in the thing. Yeah. PayPal. My wife is in the other room monitoring the PayPal. It's in the description of my video, Dr. Gerda's video. You donate via PayPal, $10, and just say raffle ticket, and we'll know. We're watching it real time. Now to you, Dr. Gerda's. Yeah, yeah. So I, when, when you were talking about this the other day, I said, hey, stream this concurrently on my channel as well so that people can see. Here's another 55,000 viewers that can be part of what's going on because they want to help you. And so some people will be motivated. And, and so let's let's increase this to whatever degree that we can. So um, if you are watching on my stream, it's Greg, Ter Greg Terry's stream right now just being pushed through my channel. And we yeah, the more the merrier. This is a team sport. Cooperate to graduate. Um, I, yeah. I think this is uh, beautiful. We we talked about this. I don't even remember when we started with the flag idea, but I I called Greg one day. I said, "Hey, can can we get some flags to the front?" I said, "Yeah, let's. If you get them to the front and get those things signed, I mean, that's going to be some people are going to want that." And in doing that, we now have something that you actually potentially might have that will be part of this, that, you know, growing fundraiser. Like we're we're at two forty something of two hundred thousand. Like understand that our, our initial goal was two hundred thousand. We're at two forty something, so we're going to a fourth vehicle, That's, and we'll get there. I, I'm sure. And then go ahead, Dick. That is a quarter of a million dollars. Let's get it out in the air. Yeah. yeah yeah i mean it's, it's this is big like and, but it's important and and we don't know how many lives are going to be saved because of these things and i i don't know how i wish i could quantify it somehow so it, it just irritates me that i can't do that i don't i don't know how to do it but but that's it's important well let's do this the man is right above your head right now and we are on professor gertis channel live at the same time welcome to all professor gertis i gotta run and go put my go do kids that. food on the Jane table is here, answer so your question while you're running and back. Jania, okay. why are these armored vehicles so important on the front line? So uh, at this moment, uh, and especially you could see it on Avdivka, during Avdivka, I mean, the battle there, a lot of med medevacs were destroyed by FPV drones and uh, or shrapnel or i mean a lot of things and they they couldn't evacuate the people uh, with that we it's it's a much bigger chance and uh, for the shell when it goes about the shelling when it goes about the, the fpv drones it surely depends of the let's say explosive it it takes it cares but uh, we it's it's not just a dream it's a real plan we want to save as much we can lives and uh, it's it's a i mean it's unbelievable and uh, it's it was a dream now we are in here we're close i mean really close to 
to cover this part and I believe it can be a big beginning and the next step and the next stages will go more and more after that. So, uh, <clears throat> shrapnel, uh, shellings, different kinds of, uh, plus, uh, plus the territory, the range, uh, because I mean, sometimes it's a big problem when the uh, medevac are not armored so to protect the medics sometimes it's not allowed to come closer because the vehicle is not and it it means that guys which is much more close to the line i mean zero line they cannot be evacuated let's let's say or i mean it's just too risky and with this and they're dying because of bleeding because of the wounds and having the armored vehicles it goes comes much much more close and it much it it's more units, more vehicles. I mean, that's are, good. Are guys dying on the front line because there's no armored vehicles? Yes or no? Slavo, yes. There is no armored vehicles. It's just a few, and you know, it's a war. It means even we had some armored vehicles, we lost some because of the attacks because of the because of the work in the, in the middle of the war they were doing so we will save more lives thank you dicky throwing it to you the um i i think that a lot of people um it, i i've seen it very lately um a lot of the footage coming out you can see that this is one of the things that's needed um uh, Greg, myself, and a few others, you know, we know quite a few people like our man here that is there and they know these things very well. If you're, uh, you know, it's always the fight against misinformation. So I wanted to wrap it to that. If you're hearing anything less than that, you oh, know great. that somebody is speaking out of their balloon knot and you should not pay attention to them. You know, speaking yeah. about misinformation, um, I highly recommend you guys go to Silicon Curtain, not right now, after this live stream. And um, I think Dick Dawson also has a live coming up. But we recorded today a piece with Jonathan from Silicon Curtain and Jonathan M.S. Pierce. So it was two atheists against a conservative Christian. But we were not debating <laughs> each other. Hey, listen, they had to have two on one just to make it fair. Okay, let's be honest. Okay, but just playing. The The reality is we were agreeing on much. Dr. Gertis, I'm just saying we were talking about how important the things are at the front. Then Dick started talking about misinformation. And I was sharing just a couple hours ago, we recorded a piece for Jonathan on Silicon Curtain. It was Johnny Fink and Johnny Pierce and me, two atheists guys against the one conservative Christian. And um, yeah, I, that was fair odds. Them two against me is what I was saying, but that's all right. We can be, we can gang we up can on, Dick Dawson. on two. But what, what was beautiful, <laughs> what was beautiful is though, we were not disagreeing. This is the point I want to make. We it's were in great. so much agreement about the, the war in Ukraine and the agendas that are happening in the church, out of the sure. church politics. It was wonderful. I mean, we agreed on 90% of the things. So it was really yep. powerful talking about that. Danny Carver, 10 coffees. Uh, Ger Professor Gertish, you take over. I'm going to check the PayPal and do my work behind the Slow scenes. Y'all roll. Yeah. So that's how it is in anything in life, though, right? I mean, if you want to find unity, you'll find unity. If you want to find the vision, you'll find the vision. Right. I mean, w just the people in this room, we are we are not the same in multiple ways. And yet we're Slumble very brain. united here and we could be divided. I, I mean, even even Greg and I, who are both in America, could be divided about whatever it is that wherever we are geographically even. Right. So yeah. it depends on what you want to focus on and how important the thing is to you. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. There's a time so and a what place did I miss to go about into. The, uh, go ahead. Oh, there's a time and a place to, you know, have debate and stuff about personal identity things and what you relate to in life and stuff. This just isn't it. Yeah, that's right. 
That's right. And if you're not disagreeing in some ways, like let's let's say even even Ukraine, if you're not disagreeing in some ways, you don't have freedom. Like you, somehow we have it backwards. We think we always have to agree on everything. I tell you what, the scariest time from that I that I've ever anything scariest that I've ever seen in politics was on nine twelve. I guess it was when the congressmen all came out on the Capitol steps. It might have been that night on 9-11, but I think it was the next day. They came out, they spontaneously broke into singing God Bless America on the front step, like that to, as a show of unity. But when you have to, when you have that kind of show of unity, something's very, very wrong. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> we think that they should like they should the natural state of things is what they're doing right now. The cut it's it's a uh, it's weird, but the conflict that they have now is the natural state of things when you have freedom. So we're going to disagree. And when you disagree, like, look, even within the UA tuber community, we have different perspectives. I'm probably I probably have the anchor point for um, for for freedom of speech. Right. Like some people don't like the the Russian disinfo. I, no, I say you should have it like RT should be allowed in the US, but we should be able to beat the it's crap out of it. <laughs> right yeah. now, not everybody agrees with me and that's OK. They don't have to. But but I. I, I adhere to that and then I want to attack it. So not everybody sees it that way. That's okay. We can have a wide range of It's like flat earth believers people. that way. You know? Yeah, <laughs> there are. But, you know, uh, they're maybe not going to get on the same plane that I will get on and go around the globe. <laughs> so, yeah. But, but the natural state of things is that we do have disagreements, but how you know, we, we focus and how we come together I mean, the, the, we just have to make a, a decision to do that. So, um, yeah, at, at any rate, that I, I'm now over my time of uh, somebody else talk about this. <laughs> uh, hold on, um, let's hold see. On, hold on, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give you an update um, where we're at oh, cool. right now because honestly, Jania, you and Prof and Dick going to have to carry it. The people are going bonkers on me. Um, so where we're at right now, uh, so we have already have 125 raffle tickets in the pot. That's, That's $1,250 awesome. being raised tonight for, uh, armored snatches. And we're still an hour and 15 minutes away from closing this out. Um, uh, we're probably going to go to at least 200 tonight. PayPal's being caught up. So right now, um, and I'm just going to shout out some names. And by the way, all of you guys that were buying raffle tickets earlier during the week, we've got you all, every one of you, Jompy, uh, Shelly C, Neil, Susie Q, RF from USA, Elaine C, Cheryl Waitley, Linda H, N Hill, Cats Cats, Trouble Bradley H, Kristen, Bulgarian, Norway, Heather W, Rune R S, Leslie B, Lynn A, Paul D, uh, Howard W, Donna S, Petra O, Danny C, Rob F, Lynn A, another batch, Dunk on U23, Nene Jumo, Grandma Debit, one of my favorite uh, YouTube names, Danny C, another block, Nowhere Girl, NAFO Redacted, Maria H. So, guys, it's rolling. We're on top of it. I think Prof was asking Jania, what did you say about the armored vehicles and why they're so important? Uh, at the front, he had to go feed macaroni and cheese. Uh, that's what I said before. Well, it's not macaroni and cheese. It's chicken patties. I'll, I'll have you know. Mm. Uh, yeah. So, but I, 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 I actually had to run out while you were first start talking because the stove was beeping. I mean, that's how what my timeline is like here. And then, then they're waiting on me to actually eat. So, uh, I'm back. I got the first shift out. So, Jacob. <laughs> So the armored vehicles at the front. Yeah, I was asking, like, like if you could quantify that, I don't, I don't know how you would do that, but it, it would be interesting to be able to see, like, what the so, impact of our, uh, of the giving from our communities would be. Let's say uh, we will request poss possible information. We will request some possible information. I think, guys, the thing we which can be, I mean, which will will be allowed to share, they will share and uh, maybe with a big delay because of the territories and because of the movings yeah. and it cannot be we you know cannot be shared like i mean video right. or trading during evacuation or something like that but i wanted to add you know uh, we started to talk about like the Jacob, common things the unity one second, though one second yeah people will see these armored vehicles they've purchased delivered 
on the front, pictures, video. You won't see. We won't be live on the zero line with them, but you're gonna see everything. Not only no, I wanted to edit. Go man. Not just deliver it there, but all we will get the videos of uh, from. I mean, not much, let's say, but it will be limited. But I, I already got you know some information about that when it be in use and it will be confirmed approved by the commanders it will be shared here that's going to be a great moment yeah, I, and if it can't be shared like that kind of information that that's totally understandable i just i mean people just don't realize how how much good they have done in saving potential lives with the tourniquets, the you know the clotting gauze, and all the things that we started raising money for and bringing forward, um, the support that was brought to Pete and the the like, even like we didn't even know to think about metal detectors, right? Like that that'll save somebody's life. I mean, this is big. I, you, you know how valuable your life is. Think about that. I mean, that's that's profound. Mm -hmm. yeah. And one more. So uh, one more thing I want to add. Uh, now it's not easy time for uh, volunteers moving and helping in, in Ukraine. Some, uh, some, some. I mean, some organization. I mean, stop to supply. Some people tired. You know, they did everything, and uh, soldiers and the people on the border and and the units. When they see the serious vehicles. Because the previous one, I don't know if you remember, the previous one was Opel Frontera. We didn't buy it, but uh, we got requests, please help it get it officially. And we were repairing it and repairing it and repairing it. And guys were happy. But, you know, during even the moment we were giving it to the, the soldiers, I said, I mean, I said, they deserve much better vehicles. And now... We will we will be going to the let's say area of Slavansk or we'll see that area, Donetsk region. It will be good vehicles, the good level, bringing to yeah. all the soldiers who will watching a new vehicles, new units, coming to help them. It's it's encouraging people, encouraging soldiers that okay, world still helping us. They believe in our victory. So this is uh, this is as well important. Jenny, you want to share some of the? We don't have to tell everybody everything, but we will be tricking these vehicles out with um, drone jammers, winches, the proper tires, night vision, and maybe speak to how important the drone jammers are. And by the way, guys. The two hundred and sixty thousand dollars that is the purchase of the four armored um, snatches, and we're getting the best of the lot. We did the virtual tour, and today we received the receipt of basically our one hundred thousand dollar deposit. It's already gone. The money you've donated is in their bank account. It's done deal. Nice. Now the initiation process starts for the export company and the export license. And the, the money had to get into deposit because they get scammed so many. People say, well, I'm going to buy a tank for Ukraine. And they start the process, and then nobody does anything. And so with us, okay, it's legit. So the process is now started. And just so you guys know, we did not buy four export licenses. We bought nine. We <laughs> look ahead. Because the cost for four export licenses is the same cost as nine. So, hello, we bought nine. What does that mean? We have a raving success here. Now it goes to the next level viral. And people go, let's do it again. Okay, we're already you always build on, on success, exactly. right? Exactly. We're already built on back in and this is why you know when you work with smart people like professor gertis and johnny and all these other guys we partner with and then i'm telling you pk our genius in chief with the administration of the finances guys it's so trustworthy it's legit and the man knows how to do business so 
it's getting done and we're thinking Solid ahead. Rain. But once we get awesome. them in, guys, you guys are going crazy. I'm going to catch up with you. But once we get them in, um, Jania is going to be and already working with who will be putting the drone jammers on, all of that stuff, because technology constantly changes. But Jania is already working on a little bit of uh, artwork on the side where these people of the world standing with Ukraine will be worked into the uh, – camouflage pattern somehow oh that's cool oh yeah, yeah. so talk about yeah, it. Okay. don't use bright colors please no no no. <laughs> <laughs> Only yeah. no we will not but uh, we will i mean we will not make it like i mean they like you hold a newspaper but we will put you know some sign and uh, it will be for for all the people to thank i mean like a thanks to all people who are there and it will remind the guys that it was uh, it, the vehicles were paid and one man added this is the military not just the armored vehicles this is a military grade vehicles i mean and with the bulletproof uh, uh, glass mm -hmm. with uh, some additional Kev kevlar layers and uh, let's say the other small things i'm 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 not go. I will not go there deep, but uh, I, I believe that what is important. This is the military vehicles, and it paid by thousands of people. And and the, the soldier soldiers they will see it. Their commanders they will see it. Uh, and so it's uh, we will do it. And yes, about a couple more words about the jammers, let's say, or anti-drone systems. It will be uh, the complete sets, four sets, and uh, it will be updated, I mean, to the newest requests because there is a lot of technical, let's say, fight with the, about the frequencies they're using for the mm -hmm. drones. So this, will, this will, will be the confirmed by today's reality. I mean, corrected by today's reality in the chassis VR. I mean, today's reality. This is because mm -hmm. this morning I was talking with the guy uh, who are working in Chelsea VR, that area, and uh, they said, yes, Genia, uh, yeah, we remember it's, you will get uh, the newest, let's say, updated, including the newest uh, possible technologies they can use, like for uh, against of Russian drones. And this is the one thing about the tires, I will not uh, share the secret, uh, but uh, we have something really good about that. It will be maybe, uh, we will share it later, but it will be really surprising, let's say, the technology which was proved and, let's say, yeah, proved and, uh, by Ukrainian re war reality. And now our guys came to the decision to the, I mean, to that, moment the project they they doing it in in a lot on a lot of vehicles we would regret with the tires will not share more now so thank you that's very exciting to hear because it sounds to me like there's all kinds of goodness wrapped up in a beautiful vehicle i uh results wise too whether it's a rescue or troop movement or you know whatever a, a, a thing gets used for right um results wise there's just got to be an exponential growth in what can be done now with these kind of tools it yeah everybody must be really looking forward to getting their hands on this kind of stuff right i can answer that yeah are you kidding yeah Dick, Dick, <laughs> you know we have been in the medical centers and we have video of that where the medics are saying there are wounded laying on the ground right this moment, and we mm. cannot get to them. They will bleed to death yep. because Solo we rain. do not have an armored vehicle. Can you imagine? Yeah, that, that was powerful. So, Greg, you know, it, it, I, I'm, I, I give homework, unfortunately, and uh, I think uh, you were talking about people saying you don't, like, actually deliver stuff. I think you need a compilation video of the things that, 
<laughs> just just here just giving just giving just giving just giving just giving like who who's throwing jade on you what what is happening here uh I mean, it how... was such a joke oh <laughs> what, what, what do i miss oxygen dude it's so funny okay yeah but, but people are saying you didn't you don't actually what i I'm mean the biggest scammer. They, no, the I'm the biggest scammer on the internet i've never delivered anything yeah, the, it was it was written by somebody who still lives in their parents' basement and has never actually looked into anything for themselves or, you know, bothered to research. I'm pretty sure that this person is still stuck on Sesame Street as an educational tool. I will so just do it was this. unbelievable. I will just do this. So whatever whatever troll is doing that, I mean, like you can go back and see what's happening. Like you can go back into your catalog and just see time after time after time so create a compilation video and but listen and just to put this. that out as a... a great idea but listen to this after those comments came through today it was just 20 30 minutes later when i went to make my live hours early because people like to get in and chat i was mm -hmm. blocked out of youtube no for me it's wow. not a coincidence that was my point it wasn't a coincidence yeah. but you know i will let Jania describe this if we don't deliver any aid, if we don't do what we say we're going to do, where you get that at? Mm -hmm. Third assault brigade supporter. Third assault. It's awesome. Now, I will make that the patch of the it's night, okay. and I will say this. The guys in the third assault, when we dropped $56,000 of aid in one minute, of the aid we don't drop, um... One of them, real tall, big guy, you know, because I'm six foot four. The Ukrainians are typically about eight foot eight. And um, he walked up to me and he says, Greg, thank you for helping us. And if you ever need anything anywhere, you just call and the third assault brigade's coming. So we have the track record, the proof. It's it's just, it's but it's true. Hey, can I, can I interrupt you for... Yeah. Can I interrupt you, you for I've a second? Keep working uh, on the thing. Yeah, yeah. I just uh, got something on my PayPal that that was like. So I have under my uh, description, I have if you want to support Ukraine directly, and I have Greg's links, and then I have below that if you want to support my channel, here's how you can help me. Uh, so do not use my PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> do, yeah. do not so like the, the, this is going like you have to go, and I'm going to refund that. Um, whoever just did this uh just go under the support greg terry kind of stuff don't I, i'm not trying to take anybody's money for anything i want you to go fil filter everything through greg that's the cleanest easiest way of of doing that i don't want to be a middleman in any way shape or form so i'm going to refund that to the person that just did this and please use those links if you're on my channel sorry i hate to interrupt but yeah. i wanted to make that clear no, and there's also going to be a fee if you try okay. to transfer it over. It's best to refund it and start yeah. over. That's yeah. the way to do this. Yeah, you don't want to be inefficient with that. Let me do this right now. My mods are talking to me. So first of all, um, and let me pop some chats up here. Tone, um, I got your thing, your, your donation for the tickets. Thank you very much. Um, the B Lady Apiary, we've got yours. And uh, CRD, you're now good. Uh, Paul, I want to say this, and I will go to um, here, and let me go to this view. You guys come on with me. Let's go here, because some people are saying, I don't see where to do it. So you go to YouTube.com, you go to uh, your channel, and we're on this live video right here. We're live right now. You come down to the description right there. 337 watching now here. 119 with Gertis. We're pushing 500 folks watching. Thank you very much and donating. Uh, so you come here, you go right to uh, direct link or my website. Or if you're buying me a coffee for these, the whole ticket's going to Ukraine. I process it right over. Um, but you just click there, it takes you to my website. And here, PayPal. That's it. Click it. Straight to our PayPal. Boom. Done deal. So that's how you do it, guys. Um, all the links are right there. Now, before I go further, let me get these other things in here that are important. Um, 
One second. We are at, you've got my wife scrambling in there. We are at 221 tickets now purchased. Thank you. Nice. We're over $2,200 for the armored snatches. Um, let me get some of these. Send. That was quick, too. We should be at least be able to double that. We're going to three, baby. Linda uh, S. Australia, super chat, because I think you all are super. Thank you for that. Dunk on you, 23, my Michael Jordan man. Fight the good fight. Slava Ukraini. Um, let's go here. And, Paul, this is the way to do it, brother. Thank you. Um, Desaid, anyone who thinks the money supplies gets to Ukraine just needs to ask the guy in the upper right. He's the poor soul that has to deliver it all. Rain, snow, sunshine, 300 plays at days a year for the for the last two Jenny, you catch my english on that one um sorry no it, no I was, no i was quick yeah. english on that one if anybody's wondering if the supplies and money gets to ukraine they can just ask you because you do it every day yeah i'm doing i'm just you know wanted i was checking maybe you know this is how <laughs> hold it hold it hold it hold it <laughs> Uh, but here you go. Boom. Yeah, I guess we don't drop aid. I mean, no. No. And 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 usually when you do like when you do something like this, then by some yeah. reason some guys like this maybe for the pictures giving some gratitude letters and so on. Yeah, I guess you don't get the certificates uh, when you're when you're when you're not delivering the age. You know, we're 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 not getting those. Yeah. Uh, let me Girl, add she, you this. Girl, you rattled our cage tonight by even bringing this up. You know, I guess you got you a know, picture of you and Elvis. I oh, guess, okay. You know, we got this for faking and for grifting. So you know, with the official seal okay. on it from the third assault. So. Hey, yeah. you brought it up. It's, I didn't bring it up. I was, I know, I, I, but it's I was just asking ridiculous. you about it. It's just ridiculous. Here we go, guys. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is the flag. Uh, fish. Uh, Genio, again, you want to translate that message for everybody? It says uh, it's the author and on the picture, Taras Grigorievich Shevchenko, the famous. Uh, he was a, a writer and 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 and, 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 and politic and the artist and an uh, important person in the history of Ukraine. And he says, fight and you will conquer because mm -hmm. God helps you. And uh, it, it's his words. So, and uh, just, I want, I just want to add it to, you know, we touched that comments. Maybe uh, people addicted to some movies they want to see that you know flying camera like on a stadium and we're and coming from and the, here's the tanks and here's the artillery and the drones are flying everything is all together and greg terry is delivering something there it doesn't work like this exactly <laughs> so, it doesn't yeah in, in fact, the movies in fact guys i you guys keep talking um, I'm talking to Pete sure. and, um, <laughs> yeah, they want, they want the Greg Terry experience directed by Michael Bay. <laughs> exactly. Uh, let's see here. Ba -ba 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 -bum -bum -bum. People put that one Mike patch. Mike patch is here. Thank you guys. I'm getting it from the mods. Mike patch is up. I'm so frantic tonight. Um, which I'm usually not. But <laughs> all these screens, you guys are donating so good. So please forgive me. Uh, can we pin the main donation link to the chat? I'll get that. Prof, can you keep talking, please? Yeah. Help so, me, help me, help uh, me. So I, it struck me as Greg was talking about, well, okay. you know, ask, ask Jania. You mm -hmm. know, when I assign Greg homework, I think it assi he assigns you homework. <laughs> 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 I think it's kind of be gets delegated out. <laughs> so, Jania, I apologize. <laughs> okay. So, but but these are good good. I mean, like the flag thing. Like this is great. I mean, if it can help raise money, help the cause, it's it's great. It's just there's there's work that comes involved with it, and um, 
you know, I mean, for fish to be involved for uh, just getting it there, those, I mean, all those pieces, like, but that's so cool. A flag that was actually at the front, uh, signed by guys at the front, like, wow. Okay. At any rate, I'm just, uh, but I apologize, Jania. I know you had, you had a lot on you. And um, so, uh, Jania, 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 Jania. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. You're no, yesterday, me Greg and I were talking. We were just trying to put our heads together because just some things weren't adding up in the way things we uh, have been going going on, like the the way that the Secretary of State or Secretary of Defense and the Under Secretary of Defense were talking, and and the uh, missiles, uh, the number of missiles and drones, eighty two yesterday, and all that kind of thing. Um, it, it felt dark on our end. I'm ima imagining it felt pretty dark on your end. Like, how are you seeing everything there? And today feels like a better day. I mean, there were only, you know, less than 20 or something, but still, still bad. But it feels like, like it's like the seriousness has ramped up by a significant order of magnitude because of the lack of supply of artillery, of air defense, of things along those lines. It, it, are we right in that assessment? Hello? Hello? No, we're good. Okay. We're good. Jane? Yeah, yeah okay. it feels like... Uh, Go ahead. Feels like... Yeah, it feels like the seriousness yesterday was just at orders of magnitudes higher, just because you're seeing like if this continues this is going to be absolutely devastating like we like got to get something together here I, that that's my and I, i'm across the pond right so I, i'm i'm not even close but i i mean if i feel it like i do i'm imagining you feel it quite a bit more yeah uh, it's obvious and uh, i mean uh, russians are using this uh, moment of weakness uh, the whole company let's say and uh, the weakness uh, of ukrainian army uh, and not do the, i mean the weakness of army let's say the this situ tough situation and they're using mm -hmm. uh, the areas where uh, we are a little bit out of stuff out of missiles it's not about ukrainian courage i mean our army right i mean it's about the stuff uh, we trusted the world let's say and we trusted that uh, the full invasion will not be i mean possible and we were not preparing we were not pretending as a leader number one like a military leader or economy leader in the world i mean ukraine and we were like producing yeah. grains and supplying it to the world doing some technology and we were doing our, our, our let, let's say the country not we are not military country this is why and we proved it by giving out our nuclear weapon so we didn't expect we were not preparing years and it was a bad side but russia used russia used it and now the same russia sees how it doesn't work all these promises and this potential still are not being in used i mean the the potential of supplying help in ukrainian air defense uh and the and the other areas let's say i will not go there but russia using it and it's tough and we getting in ukrainian local city groups district regional groups advices back please don't forget about the power charging your power banks because what do we see we have to be prepared and all ukrainians feeling it like that and uh, and yeah so it's like not not easy guys let me get back one second here um mercy are you using armor plate like ar500 face hardened steel or kevlar both that's the answer to that um fpv can still cut through armor but there's still much more protection chance to survive snatches will save some lives absolutely there's rick the ukrainian our partner 
Um, all it takes is human morals to support Ukraine. That's correct. Uh, John Hooper. He is an American there training Ukrainians. What Americans may not realize this, there are no PJs swooping in, snatching a wounded soldier and flying off the field hospital. Yeah. It's vehic vehicle medevac in Ukraine. That's correct. And the man is a medic training Ukrainian heroes in Ukraine. Thank you, John Hoover. Um, Papa Dutch, 10, the Dragonfire Systems, brilliant answer. No shells, just keep the power on. Uh... La the bee lady, where's your daggone pay doggone PayPal? Not in your description. Hopefully I answered that now. I'm catching up, guys. Uh, Super Chat, DeJerko, I've also got your tickets in. Slava Ukraina. Elaine Crossland, got your tickets in. Thank you. Um... <laughs> At Greg, here's DeSade. Uh, fundraising for influencing politicians. Wonder how much the going rate is to have a Republican from your district to flip to supporting Ukraine. Actually, the Republicans in my district to say, just so you know, support Ukraine 100%. Um, got a really good guy here. Uh, night vision also requires the gauges in the dash to be low light level so they don't glare out the goggles. It's a big modification. Oh, okay. In fact, Genia, can you speak to that when we go into Hedersan and we're running night vision, how we have to black everything out on our dash? Because it's shocking, folks, how even one little light in pitch black is beaming. Uh Yes, and uh, okay, even from the drones, it's much easy to see. And uh, for the one of the reasons why we do it, it's we for protecting us from uh, working of the work of collaborants because they share everything they can share. Everyone who supports Ukraine and yes it's not a secret we have a uh, people who like uh, being paid by russia or uh, deceived by russia and um, and they are working for them so when we see the moving vehicles somewhere we just stop like, i mean we're sitting in the i mean in complete dark uh, i mean yeah in the darkness and expecting to have it like plus uh yes uh, the place we stay we do support we do like as well we protect the people who are accommodating us we have to be responsible and we have to be uh i mean they can trust us and as yeah so they're okay and yes uh, any small in the okay Let's say like this, when you in a complete darkness, uh, so any small things you can see and all the people can see like, and when you, and Kherson, it, it's, it's hard to believe, but Kherson, in some moment, complete dark. I mean, all the lights are off. Pitch black. Not noise. moving. I mean, and this is why we need to keep it. I like if even, okay, think about police. In our area, police with this crazy, you know, uh, lights, the blue and the red, you can see them like from, I don't know, miles and miles. Uh, what about the uh, po po police in Kherson? They driving <laughs> dark, no any right. lights from the place. Ambulance, fire, everybody, are, right? Uh, yes, from the place they're staying, they can drive like 500 meters well, like let's say half a mile a mile and only then turn the a little bit of light if not if of the it depends of the area of the city the district of the of the Kherson they're driving and it's like if you uh, if you're not like um, ready for that it's like just in the middle of nowhere the police car appear, appears mm -hmm. just with the with the tail lights or like the small things you know I said, what? <laughs> it's, is it police? Yes. Yeah. It's, uh, I can't it's, relate to that. Yeah. It's okay. Guys, we're about 40 more minutes on the raffle for tonight, and I will give you an update in just a second. I need to send this question through while I'm still working here. Uh, Lady B. Appery, 
$2 from the Lady B. Thank you. Can you tell us, Jania, and maybe Professor Gertis, about Zelensky's term up in May? What, what's the political situation with Zelensky, Jania, or Professor Gertis? Not like Jania Professor goes. Gertis. <laughs> okay. Uh, political situation. Uh, uh, okay. I, I would say like this. Uh, there is some politic there is some people trying to shake it all to try they, who was trying you know to uh, to stop the mobilization process good processes we have in ukraine now we have some good processes in ukraine not easy but we fight inside of ukraine to do to be stronger to be better prepared and we have some success in it so uh, there will it's nothing about the president social um, i mean changing or like uh, it's not about that now even somebody is trying to do something let's say it's not the main things and uh, no uh, uh, no one like seriously think about that and it's already it's already let's say <laughs> okay let's say like this all the politics, all the leaders who are trying to do it really openly, they're paying a big price now. And what do I mean by that? Their popularity, popularity goes down and down and down because people understand, a lot of people understand, it's not the time. But right. not, not 100%, but I, I, let's say it's not the time because now it's time for surviving. That's right. mm -hmm. We need to survive, and it, it's a question of will the West countries help us enough to survive on that territory we have now mm -hmm. to save uh, as much people we can. Guys, there's, I there's am... a time to circle the wagons, and then there's a time to be <sighs> normal and have your normal political fight and act like toddlers uh, yeah. as politicians, right? And this is not the time for the latter. Uh, I will, I, I have argued that after the war is over, I think Zelensky maybe get a get a Churchill kind of moment, like because Ukrainians are they're they're just like, hey, we're not gonna do this, we're we're not gonna do that. Give it revolution, we're gonna take Maidan. What okay. I mean, this is like the temperament of your your society's culture from my outsider's view. So it could very well happen, a, a throwing off like Churchill after World War II, but not right now. And the yeah. idea that you would, you know, like people were talking about, uh, well, uh, Tucker Carlson, for example, talking about how he suspended elections. It's in the Constitution. You can't have it during a time of war, uh, um, military, um, I'm trying to I think of the term, the... Um, Martial law, during martial law, you, you can't have this right now. Whereas in the United States culture, it's different. Like we had uh, elections during the Civil War even, yeah, right? <laughs> like that, it's a little weird, but that's the way we roll. That's the way you roll. It's different. And so you have to understand the differences between the two societies. Um, just like uh, military, we'd say you're 18. <laughs> Go sign up with selective service because, you know, if there's a war, you're 18. Uh, whereas in Ukraine, moving it down from 27 to 25 was a big deal because right. they, until such time, where you have this guarantee and uh, you're, you're okay until such time as you get called. And then that's 25 to 60. So, like, it's just a different way of thinking about things. And you need to understand the differences or you're going to misinterpret things. Slavo. Yeah. When it goes. Sorry, when it goes about election. Oh, sorry, my mind. Can I, can I, can I just say here, Greg? Um, I got to get ready for a show we're about to do, so I do have to bow out. You can't um, bow. Great to meet you, Genia. I, uh, I Big, can't wait till we get more time to chat and all for sure. Absolutely, Dick man. Absolutely, Dicky. Yes. I need you to stay with me thirty more seconds. I need you to give okay. an advertisement on the shills for what is coming up on this Saturday and the big announcement for next Saturday in our panel. Would you please share? Yes. 
So, yeah, coming up uh, this Saturday, coming on the Ukraine Update show over on the Shills, uh, Greg Terry's there weekly, so uh, I advise you to come and check us out. It's at the Shills on YouTube. We have uh, Mercado Media and Phil Itner joining along with myself and Greg and probably Rick the Ukrainian and Operator Starsky will be there obviously as well. It's his show too and it's going to be an amazing panel and in the background CF Beauty who does everything for us on the shills is locking down the booking for uh, the 20th the next Saturday to have Jake Bro join us as well. So it you know over on the shills it's the place where all the ukrainian supporters seem to be gathering to hang out come and join us you're gonna love it there you go thanks Thank for you having guys. me over, man oh and by the way dick before you go you've been here helping thank you so much dude like i'm indebted to you tonight you, you, <laughs> when i was really losing my noodles about my channel and i was i was i was I was already seeing Professor Gertis in the morning making a video. Save Greg's channel, please. He's very good at helping <laughs> other. Seriously, he's he's the man. I, when I got comes, enough homework. I... <laughs> but all these things were running through my mind. I knew this raffle was coming tonight. Now, I'm a biblical guy, mm -hmm. so what the enemy meant for evil, I believe God turned for good. For those of you that, out there that believe other things, for what Saturn was thinking to go left, Jupiter went right. All of that's cool, <laughs> however you want to feel and believe. But as of right now, uh, Dickie Dawson, we're at 626 tickets. We've raised over $6,200 yes. so wow. far. Awesome. So, awesome. Thank and you for helping. All the holy rollers here that are hanging out with <laughs> Greg Terry experience rollers. and everybody else, please let's get a few more of those tickets sold. I've got so much faith you can do it for us. There we babies. go. Thank you. Dick. Go, go, go. <laughs> we'll holler at you later. And while Dick's turning out, I need to switch a screen. 15 seconds. Of you might have missed your calling, Dick. He should have been a preacher. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I, I, uh, either a DJ or like you're saying, that might've been my thing as well. Just didn't have the influences, but I can't <laughs> wait to see y'all again. It ain't over. Till you guys over, are Nick. awesome. Be blessed. Slava Nick. Ukraine. You. Get on Slava. Hope Get train him, interlude. Slava. 15 seconds coming back at you. <laughs> There were three, four, and now there are three, and I do need to pick, fix Professor Gertis's picture there. He's a little, actually leaning left, which is very odd, uh, because he uh, that's not me. leans right. That, that's, I've been sabotaged somehow. <laughs> that doesn't happen. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I, I had to throw that in. There's so much going on. Um, let me try to catch up again. Um, Papa Dutch, 50. Um, Papa Dutch, I'm converting yours to tickets, sir. You're so generous. Um, if this is casting bread on the water, I wish I could chuck more. That's a really good saying. I need to remember that. Uh, Pat Shellen or Shalen, Shellen, Z A R, 140. Thank you. Uh, talking about, this is good for you and Jania to talk about the Patriot systems around a dozen F 16s, two dozen multi launch batteries. The other half the artillery already paid for. Most of which has already been promised would make a big difference. And then Steffi Z said, EU council just stopped at the household until at least seven Patriot systems go to Ukraine. Yeah, There's still yesterday. a little bit of hope. I want you guys to discuss that one second. RC Williams sent you a donation. We got it. Super chat 20 from Skeg. Two tickets in the pot. He's also a moderator. Um, even the stuff that should have arrived a year ago would already be making huge difference. Barfly Chef, that is correct. Richard Bjorkland, uh, 1,000 from Richard Bjorkland, uh, NOK for tickets. I've already converted it. The tickets are in the thing. Whew. You guys are working my wife to death in here. New Zealand, Miriam, 20, uh, waving the flag for New Zealand. Kia ka ka, Ukraine, stay strong. Razum do peramogo. I understand that part. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, uh, <laughs> Papa Dutch, you, I got to figure that one out. All right, back to the stuff. The Patriots, that, you and Jania talk about it. I need to catch the spreadsheet up again. Guys, we're going to, yeah. listen, so much is happening. Right. To make it easy on me, Professor Gertis and, and Jania, if you don't mind, we're going to go for 44 minutes. We're going to stop it 
at 7 p.m. Eastern, and that's going to be it. I'm that's it's just you guys are being so generous tonight. Um, and this flag, and I have to say, I have to say, um, we had one person tonight purchase 300 tickets. Oh my gosh. Okay. Diana, Diana S. I'm going to make an executive decision. Yeah. Can we just win the raffle? I'm spinning it again. Diana S. Go to gregterry.org contact. Send me an email. Say this is Diana S. I'm mailing you your flag and don't other 50 of you go out there and, and, email me and say this is Diana S because I will know I've got the record in here. Okay. So don't try to play that game. We're high tech over here. Um, but this is not the way this community is anyway. This is so, part of this moment. I'm Diana S. No, yeah. I'm Diana. S. No, I'm Diana S. <laughs> so listen, what, what can we say for Diana S instead of Zelensky's? I think we'll do it this way. Uh, Zheng, you can answer me. For you, Diana, Slava Ukraina. Heroin, Slava. Thank you, Diana. Flag coming to you. If you win tonight, we will spin the wheel again. So, there you go. You so, guys keep going. Uh, we're going to talk about the F-16s, the artillery systems, that thing in the uh, European Parliament that the guy held it up. And it was overwhelming, right? I, this the overwhelming number voted Slava with that. Ukraine. How long it takes to get things there, that's a different story. Um, F-16s, I read this morning between the Dutch, let's see, the Netherlands, Norway, and one other country, looks like there's going to be 70-something, maybe 80. Not all of them working, but, I mean, on the way. Again, how long it takes to get there, that's the issue. The question that I had before Greg and uh, Dick started talking again was, what we had, what we saw yesterday was bad. Why didn't Russia press the advantage today? Because I, I think it's because they don't actually have enough to do a daily 80 to 100 barrage of missiles and drones. They have to kind of save up, like you saw, it's like less than 20 today. And I'm not complaining. I, I'm glad that there were less than 20. But it's like, I, I think they're running short on their supply in, in some meaningful way, too. Tell me, tell me if I'm wrong or if I'm just seeing things unclearly. Uh, maybe let's say um, I I choose my position, not uh, to 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 take this position. I don't trust that Russia in a big problem with the supply. They have, they don't have problems. Uh, I mean, with the public promises and not fulfilled. We haven't seen it from uh, North Korea or from Iran, their friends. So when it goes, maybe they have, uh, I mean, not enough and uh, maybe have that they have uh, difficulties. But sometimes it's like they were at, at this moment, they are attacking our infra, like, uh, energy infrastructure uh, places. And mm -hmm. uh, like... I know that on on the some places like that, our guys are building concrete walls, the thick ones, to to protect at least some on 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 some, and maybe they are getting some information, maybe they need more information. So it's like a tactical moment. They need some confirmation on they or they do expect some. I mean, special equipment will come or something like that. So maybe, I don't know, but I yeah, yeah. made, yeah. I, I, I don't think that as a country, they're running low. I, I'm not, I'm not making that argument. Like, so what uh, General yeah. Cavoli was saying yesterday, they're a lot stronger than you would think, but why are they pulling yeah. their punches? See, that that's the, that's the question that I have, because if, I mean, if they were saying, well, okay, maybe I should not talk like that. If if they were thinking in good strategy, this is the time to just press it, press it, press it, press it, press it. But they're not. 
and so something's really strange about that. Like they know that they don't have enough in the queue. It's not that they can't get to it, but they can't do it right away. So if you look at the patterns of how, you know, how they've hit a week ago, they hit really hard. The week before that, mm-hmm. or two weeks before that, they hit really hard. The week before that, they hit hard. But in between, it's very low. And that they're not pressing their advantage when it it seems pretty clear that you, Ukraine's really struggling to keep up. I, I find that very telling. I, I'm not sure what it's saying, yeah. but it's it's very meaningful in some way. That that's that's all I'm, uh, I'm saying. Yeah, but as well like look we are limited in the with the units air defense units like patriots just few and right. sometimes it's moving in ukraine from one area to other area like yeah, it has to if if like if we have bad if we had bad situation in of the IFK area that means we opening some other places so if we're moving mm-hmm. those those to 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 protect kiev or um or like some uh, in, energy infrastructure objects we have some open area like in the like for example check news was go- what what we had on a uh, chernigiv uh Sume. Uh, uh area of uh let's say of divka that that uh bahmut chasibyar that area we had a bad situation with the uh, attacking from their av- aviation mm-hmm. and probably because of the limits so they knew that probably we moved it over here they they attacking mm-hmm. out there because they can attack with the missiles with the uh, gliding bombs and they know that we are i mean we cannot be everywhere we are really limited and Let they're using right. it today they were using it there on the east yeah just because you do not see um even on social media news reports of a missile strike or shaheeds uh the glide bombs are non-stop falling on the front non-stop and you won't always see the big news on them, but to be quite honest, they do much more damage uh, sometimes than they are given credit for. Let me do this. Uh, Super chat, Papa Dutch, all I want to be is by your side. I put it in as a ticket, uh, Papa. Um, Slava Ukraina Park White um, from New Zealand. Uh, Why at? Wow, uplifting to see that we're a hungry herd of antelope migrating from channel to channel together. May the circle be unbroken. You're going to get Dr. Gertis and I singing spirituals here in a moment. Um, Super chat five. Papa Dutch, I am keeping a record of your super chats and putting tickets in for you, sir. You always want at least one hanger bird to get parts off of. That's correct. Uh, Leslie B. Leslie Bo, the West is allowing too much equipment going to Russia via third parties. Second. Oh, I, I just had an aha. Go ahead. Finish what you're doing. I just had a like, oh, go ahead. Secundo. Diana S. My wife just came in here. Got your message. It is Diane S. We got it. If it, if you win, you win in regardless. So thank you. Um, okay. Your aha moment. Yeah, so uh, Papa Dutch was just talking about the hangar bird to get parts off of. So we're reading about um, Norway this morning giving the 22, I think it was, F-16s that uh, Mm -hmm. 10 of them were in the chat here, you know, whatever. So that's actually very useful still. Uh, Like I was thinking like, yeah, that's kind of lame. You know, some, they might work, they might not work, but that, that could be very useful, right? So to have the, the parts to scavenge from. I hadn't thought of that before. Well, that, okay, so let me say something about that. Um, So two days ago, Pastor Kent and I took a virtual tour of Tanks A Lot, okay, where we're purchasing the snatches from. Hectors and hectors and hectors and acres and acres and acres of equipment. This company has sold 
millions of dollars worth of tanks and APCs and multi, uh, multi-launch rocket systems, MLRS systems to Ukraine. I mean, this place supplies movie houses, uh, films. They're legit, major legit. Mm-hmm. They, they could invade a small country, to be honest, from their company. <laughs> I'm serious. Here's what he told us. He says, gents, this is what people in the world don't understand. You're buying the right vehicles, the snatches, because they're going to get broken and they can be repaired. But there is so much equipment on the front lines in Ukraine right now that is broken and damaged. And we get so many requests for parts and parts and parts. There's no parts. Zero. So what Mm. we're trying to do is help them find a way to manufacture the parts, get the parts. He goes, so much stuff broken down in Ukraine. Um, And this is to your point. We need things to salvage parts from. Yeah. Salvage parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just had an aha when you were talking. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. So Uh, Leslie Leslie B. said, uh, West is allowing too much equipment to go to Russia via third parties. Zhenya, that would be Kazakhstan and others. Yep. Uh, Dr. Gertis is a question for you. I've got a question from uh, Catalan. Catalan is in Romania, I'm pretty sure. Iran is causing problems for Israel, Ukraine, the U.S., and a bunch of states in the Middle East. Why hasn't the U.S. smashed the Iranian military yet? Uh, because Joe Biden has a fundamental knee-jerk reaction, and this is not a political, um, because I'm Republican. This, it's not that. My observation of him is he has a political knee-jerk reaction to non-escalation, right? He Correct. does not want to cross a red line. He does not want to escalate. He he has a fundamental understanding in his mental framework that if I'm just nice to them, they'll be nice to me. Remember, it was Biden and the Biden, um, uh, Obama-Biden re- administration that was doing the Iran deal before Trump's administration. Remember that? So they're like, if we're just nice, you're going to be nice back. The the rest of the world doesn't necessarily see that way, especially as authoritarian regimes. They don't, they don't seem to think that way. So I think it's a fundamental miscalculation. um, And we need to be a little bit different than what we're doing. I hope that answers the question. And it's not a, it's not a political because I'm of the other party. No, it's not. Um, I'm with you on that answer. Mm-hmm. The say choices matter, folks. This conflict can be your conflict tomorrow. Support Ukraine now or pay with your kids' lives. Um, I completely agree with that. To say a U.S. military veteran, we may be on the different sides of the aisle, but we're on the same platform right here, 1 million percent, and I thank mm-hmm. him for his service. Um, and his commentary. He's been with me since I had four viewers. So thank you, Desaid. Um, are you worried about, this is a great question for you, Doc. Are you worried about the RNC listing Ukraine as an aggressive adversary? Along oh my with gosh, I saw Iran? that yesterday. And I was thinking like, is that is that in like in writing like somewhere? Because I saw them say that in a in an interview. And I was like, what on earth? Like I w- that makes me want to be a delegate to the RNC. When I was on the, so when I end here, um, when we end here in thirty minutes, thirty more minutes, guys. Um, I really encourage you guys to go watch the Silicon Curtain video from today with uh, Johnny Pierce and myself. We started going down this roadway pretty deeply, especially dealing with American politics, elections upcoming, and all of this. And this is what both Johnnies said. They said, and they're very smart guys, like I'm trying to keep up with them and I've got a dictionary on this screen over here because they use really big words. And they're talking, but they went down this road with American politics and the election coming. They said, okay, It seems that the Republican Party right now, just in general, especially MAGA, is almost has the pro-Putin feel. Um, Don't want to come out and say pro-Russia, but definitely not pro-Ukraine. That's the feel we get. And then they said, unfortunately, though, even in the current administration, it's not that they're 
so pro-Ukraine or anti-Russia, what they are right now is basically non-committal to the next steps. That's what these guys were saying, and I think that's fairly accurate. I think we're in a wait and see right now with what's happening in the U.S. Um, we have a presidential candidate going on trial in a few days, and the struggles that are going on there, we have a the uh, incumbent president whom, if you guys are here in the U.S., you're seeing the rumors, you're seeing all the chatter that by May they're going to pull him, they're going to put another guy in. We just have a lot of chaos here, and Professor Gertis is the one to speak with authority about that, not me. But we are in a difficult situation in the U.S. So uh, the Biden administration was uh, described yesterday by a commentator as feckless in regard to Ukraine. I, and that, that sounds right. Like it, while there's hostility and gridlock on the, on the right in the, within the uh, conservatives who, and there, again, there's this, there's a schism between within the Republican party, but the fecklessness of the administration, like, come on guys, like pull it together. Anyway, there is a I'm sorry. Chat right here. This is the word they use from Johnny and Johnny earlier, Silicon Curtain and ATP geopolitics appeasement. That was the word mm -hmm. they said right now, the administration is appeasing. And um, that's right. But that, that is Biden's knee jerk reaction to things. Generally speaking, look, if you remember the days before Ukraine, before the war kicked off, think about January and early February of 2022. He was like, I hope he doesn't do it. He might do it. He might try to take some territory. I hope Putin doesn't, you know, like it was, it wasn't a, don't do it. Don't do it. Or you're having a problem with us. Right. Mm -hmm. He didn't come out and do like, it, it, it was really like somewhat milk toast. And then his, his spine seemed to stiffen for a while. And then in recent days, it seems like, eh, don't do it. You know, this oil refinery thing, you probably shouldn't be hitting that. You have military targets, but don't do it in Russia. <laughs> like, come and, on. But listen, not listen, you guys, if you did not see Professor Gertis's video, you need to go see that. Um, because our own defense department is speaking about it. In fact, I need to catch up the spreadsheet. You guys catch your breath for one minute. Let me push this and then we'll get Professor Gertis's opinion on it. Watch this. Sword in this hand. I, thank you, Lithuania. Labas. Uh, meanwhile, yesterday, uh, US def this was reported yesterday, uh, U.S. Defense Secretary was criticizing Kyiv's strike on Russian oil refineries. Remember, we're going to have the, the problem with the knock-on effect and we probably shouldn't be doing that. And like, Okay, well, if you're not going to supply us with the missiles to strike, and you're saying sh there are better targets to strike, more military targets to strike, there probably are, but you have to hit them where it hurts. And where it hurts them more, I think, is not just the military facilities, but also in their pocketbook, which is funding the military. Okay, then we saw this. U.S. Representative Austin Scott asks why, this was yesterday, asks why Ukraine should not attack Kremlin-controlled refineries. It's a pretty good question. The answer from Assistant Secretary of Defense Celeste Wallander is because Ukraine must comply with high standards of warfare, which is part of European democracy. Meanwhile, today, due to Russian strikes, Ukraine lost its largest thermal power plant in Trapilia, which supplies 50% of the electricity to Kiev and other regions. Okay, we're going to actually watch that interaction. Let's let's play that. The Biden administration came out and condemned the Ukrainians for hitting Russia's oil and gas infrastructure and, and suggested that they should not do that again. Can you tell me why, uh, while Russia is attacking Ukrainians' uh, oil and gas and energy sector, why shouldn't the Ukrainians attack the Russian oil and gas and energy sector? The issue on attacking critical infrastructure is when those are civilian targets, we have concerns because Ukraine holds itself to the highest standards of observing the laws of armed conflict, and that's one of the elements of being a European democracy. But, but the Russians are attacking the oil and gas infrastructure in Ukraine, cor correct? Absolutely. And if you're going to win a war, 
you can't sit back and take punches and not deliver punches. So why shouldn't the Ukrainians attack the oil and gas infrastructure in Russia? Congressman, we have concerns about striking at civilian targets uh, when we support uh, countries. Again, this is Ukraine's sovereign decision, but we express those concerns. But, but those oil and gas infrastructures in Russia are owned by the Kremlin, correct? It's not like they're owned by a private corporation that had shareholders and private assets are being destroyed. They are owned by private Russian citizens who are part of the Putin regime. That is correct. I mean, it makes sense to me that we should destroy them. Okay, so it makes sense to me too. And it's it's not about ownership. It's about choking off the supply. In World War II, we were bombing. Let me come back to you now. So there it was. Zhenya, when you see that and you see our own defense secretary and the assistant saying, don't strike uh, because it's civilian targets. I know for you, Jane, and then we'll get Professor Gertis's reply, but the devastation and death that you have seen from civilian targets being struck in Ukraine, when I hear that, it makes me angry. It's like tragic mm -hmm. that they would even think that. What do you think as a Ukrainian when you hear the Assistant Secretary of Defense in front of the committee testifying that we don't approve striking civilian targets in Russia. And then he replies, but civilian targets are being struck in Ukraine. Well, yeah, but we think Ukraine should do the right thing. What's your thoughts on that as a Ukrainian? Uh, we, we heard so many concerns. <laughs> about and uh... But we, we, we need to survive. Mm. Uh, coming back during 24 hours, last 24 hours, I will read it. Over the past day, the settlements of Grimach, Chernigiv region, the city of Sumy, Baravaya, Kharkiv region, Tverdakhlebova and Belogorovka, Lugansk region, Vertikanenskaya, Spornaya, Ivanova, Klishivka, Andreevka, Yuzhnaya, Razdolivka, Terny, Yampolivka, Novobachmutovka, Berdichi, Umanskaya, Karlovka, Nivelskaya, Krasnogorivka, Konstantinovka, Vadinoe, New York, Semenovka, Netailova, Urajaynaya, Donetskaya, Novodanilovka, Zaporozhye region were subjected to airstrikes. We want to survive. This is about uh, air strikes and air defense in just 24 hours all of these places villages cities and who is uh, i mean really worried about that if it will hold to st i mean it will stop or hold or delay filling one more russian jet the bomber we will, we will be happy to save more lives it's very logical for us for, for ukrainians and if we can destroy all of their oil refineries, because it's about the country. Yep. The country supports war. Think Civilians support war. And we need to stop the war. We're not trying to cause, uh, I mean, the hunger to Russia. We, uh, they are doing it, attacking our grains. <laughs> we don't, we don't, I mean, but we want to stop the war, okay? How? If if the way to stop it will help them in attacking their like uh, refineries, surely we will. Um, guys, you may not have caught this because it sounded like Jania was speaking a foreign language with all those goofy names. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm explaining. He listed twenty to twenty-five villages, towns, and cities that have been struck within the last twenty-four hours. But it's not. I can okay. pronounce New York. New York, exactly. <laughs> New York. Um, here is Jake Bro had a different take on Lloyd Austin, of which I found helpful for what it's worth. Good. I will check that out. I respect Jake Bro highly. I just know that there's a lot more at play right now than 
that is on the surface. That's for sure. And Ukraine's being literally wiped off the map. There's no room for error right now. They're out of supplies. They're struggling to hold their own dirt. And the only thing that is going to win is a punch in the mouth to the Kremlin. That's it. So appeasement, hoping everything's going to get better, waiting for the next batch, doing this. Guys, we're critical mass now. Critical mass. And that's why it's so important that we're doing this massive push so we can do our part to save lives. Um, so thank you. Now, uh, Professor Gertis, this question is addressed to me, but I'm going to need you to answer it because I will be happy to answer, but I, this one's up yours. Um, up, up your... <laughs> You've been hanging out with Dick Dawson too much. <laughs> In your lane. In your lane. Did you know that when Churchill used to do the peace thing, he would do it like this until people told him that that's what that meant. Ah. And then he reversed it. <laughs> with the, the victory sign? Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, answer this question. This is in your lane. Greg, After you insulted me like you did? I'm sorry. Greg, <laughs> why do most channels who support Ukraine think MAGA folks don't support Ukraine? Why do they trash talk them? Question mark. Because, okay, so you have Reagan Republic. Look, hold on. I have my let, Reagan let, Bush shirt on, right? Hold on. Let I me do this. Let me do this. Let, let's show that off. Yes. All right. I'm wearing Reagan Bush, right? Okay. So. There are there are Reagan Republicans on one side of this, and then there are MAGA Republicans on the other. Now there are there's some overlap, like a Venn diagram, where some MAGA are also some Reagan. They, they but and they rightly or wrongly see Trump and think, well, Trump is going to do this. There's a, somebody put a comment in a chat earlier on, and I had an aha moment. They were like, Trump 2016 is different from Trump 2024. And like some of the things, like he was pretty hawkish uh, going after ISIS and some other things in that way. I don't know that we have the same Trump right now. So they may see it differently. And and there, there might be some of that overlap where those folks that are also MAGA, also like old school Republican can also get behind Ukraine. But for the most part, they're not overlapped. And that's, I think, what's what's happening there. That, that's my read of it, because I, I talk about the differences between the two as if they're distinct. And for the most part, I think there is a difference. But there are also some that are old school Reagan Republicans that are now MAGA Republicans that think that Trump will actually somehow do something. I don't know if he will. I'm not betting on it. But he might, because he has no real ideological core that's going to be predictable. So... Who knows? I'm not I'm not making that bet, but there are some people that that see it that way. I hope that helps. And, and let me let me add one more thing. Please. They do that because they say things like, remember, Trump gave Ukraine the javelins. Trump told NATO, you better step it up. Trump did this and Trump did that. But his rhetoric in recent days has not been anything that would comfort me. OK, answer if, this. If that makes sense. Tagging on now from cause problem is all the Reagan Republicans in the House are refusing to sign the discharge petition and Republicans haven't passed aid since the, got the House. OK, signing on to the Democrat discharge petition is a very dangerous thing for any of them for their career. I know you're going, well, but this is important. Yeah, it is. But they're essentially signing a, a note that says, I will never be able to be anything in leadership ever. I'll never be a committee chair. Or any, I mean, when they sign that on. So I understand why, because it's there's a real conflict here. Um, pushing Speaker Johnson's hand would be wonderful. I wish they could do that. But there's something to that. There's also 25 Dems that haven't signed on. So you know, the the problems are all around, although I think that if Speaker Johnson would simply put it on the floor, it would get passed easily, easily. What do you take of it when um, Speaker Johnson's going to meet with Trump? And it's, it's That's really showing, interesting. It's very interesting, and it's, it's more your expertise, at least to give commentary on it, but at least I think there's a sign there going, hey, we're still on the same team here. We're still shoulder to shoulder, um, but it's 
it's very odd. Yeah. So, but we're in a situation that we haven't been in a hundred years where we have two presidents and I know that one's out of power, but a form, when's the last time you saw a former president running against a president? Right. Correct. I mean, it was 18 something when we last saw, so it's been a while. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not sure what to make of it yet. Um, what kind of guidance or direction or whatever, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I just gotta have to admit when I don't know something, I, I just, I, I don't know what to tell you with it. Okay. Let me At finish a few comments thing. here and then we're going to give an update on the tickets and I want to show the map. Um, and then we'll get back to Jania. <sighs> Uh, you guys are just awesome. Uh, bad news, Badger, with 50 DKK. The only reason I cannot take that serious and that same person yet sign a paper get munitions so Ukraine can use their weapons. That's referring back to our conversations on um, the Defense Department. Uh, Ellen Elvin Archer, attacking oil is both strategic and tactical. As Napoleon said, an army marches on its stomach and a mech army needs oil. Correct. Um, let's go Papa Dutch. I converted it to tickets. Uh, get those trucks. We're going to get those trucks. Um, uh, Rhonda says Paul Manafort, his campaign manager was a pro Putin oligarch plant in Ukraine. How could that not be obvious? Your comment? Yeah. yeah. And so, but I don't know how Manafort, how connected he is again, Manafort and uh, the guy that followed him, Bannon, were both in that kind of camp. And so they they had, I mean, and it, personnel it's is policy and who you surround yourself with is very telling. And so I'm going to be looking at that very carefully as we move toward uh, toward the election. I, I do have a question for you. I, I don't know if this is uh, what the case is. I, I saw some super chats. We're streaming this in in my stream mm -hmm. as well. And can can somebody take back a super chat? Is that is there a mechanism to do that? Because if think you're putting so. a super chat for me, I, I like if you're trying to put the raffle, you need to put the raffle through his PayPal, not a super chat to me. I, I don't want to like take your money for my sub channel support. So I, I don't know. Regardless, I, I just want to be public with that and let somebody know if they I can undo that. I can't see your backside. You can't see mine, but there are a few. Your There's a handful of this. I don't want to see your backside either, but I can't see the back end of. And you are just. I mean, I'm it's, really it's struggling just, tonight. Dick Dawson you know, has who you're off. hanging out with these days is is probably pretty bad. All right, listen. We'll figure it out. But I'm gonna yes. call Mama Terry and uh, no, Mama and talk Terry's about probably watching. Doing. I'll be in trouble. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's let's do this. Um. So I, I just want anybody to know, like, don't do that. I and mean, if you're wanting to support me, that's great. But I, this, the point of this mm -hmm. was for a fundraiser yes. for Ukraine. So, like, if you if there's a way to give it back, take it back or whatever. If I can give it back, I'll, I'm happy to. I just I don't know how what the mechanism is. Papa Dutch converted to a ticket. No one in Congress should be comfortable in their seat. With that, I completely agree. Well said. All right. Now the whole country can kind of get behind, whole, get rid of those jokers in Congress. <laughs> correct. Correct. Um, I want to read a couple comments here that were, that have come in on buy me a coffee. Uh, it's just a nice comment. Uh, Deborah uh, bought a ticket. She said, Ukrainian lady in Winnipeg, Canada. So thankful for all your love and support. One ticket for the snatch. Um, wandering dub. Bought some tickets and said, I think Putin is throwing in the kitchen sink at the moment in hope that America continues to navel gaze for the next few months. My thoughts are continually with Ukraine. And then Sally Luz says, Brother Greg, please put this 50 towards the armored vehicles. I hope they save thousands of lives. I converted that to the five tickets for you, Sally Luz. And she says, please also color in Cuba and begins to talk about the background of her family from Cuba and, and, and similar comparisons from the 50s. It's very interesting. Um, so what I want to do is do this, and I still have a four box here with Dick's face, but we'll do it this way. So guys, what we've been doing is trying to color in the map, and this is on my website. If you go to my website, you 
let me just do it this way. I was converting the super chats. Uh, let's do this. There, look at Jania. <clears throat> yeah, but we're not delivering right there. As it's, that hospital was even bombed when we were being delivering it down south. Um, if you go to the home page, and there's Kirill. Yeah. Operation Color the Map. You guys can come here, look at the map. You can click it, expand it, and look around and see all the nations. And to be quite honest, when we look at Canada and the U.S., every state in the union and every province in Canada has donated to Ukraine, Jania. It's pretty awesome. And then we look at the other nations around the world. Now, I'll flip back over to here. Over the last couple of days, when I asked people to start donating, and if you choose, you can adopt a place that's special for you. And everybody that has done that kind of gave me the backstory for why. But over the last couple of days, and even a couple tonight, the Faroe Islands have been adopted and are now colored. Um, we also had, I think it was John H. He went ahead and took Antarctica. So Antarctica is colored. Um, Thane did it in honor of Lieutenant Alves and his crew, South Africa and Angola. Right here, they must have had missions there together. Seha, Cambodia. Right here, Cambodia is now colored in from Seha. Mark T., with Ghana, that just came in, so I will be, in fact, you know what I'm going to do, because we're almost, we are eight minutes away, guys, here we go, we're, you're going to watch, we're going to color in Ghana, and no, it's not exact, but it's close enough for the color operation, did you ever think you'd come to YouTube and watch some grown man color, um, there, Ghana, I then label it, <laughs> <laughs> but we we want to be genuine. This is what I do. Twenty four people do worse things on YouTube. That's true. So we'll make Ghana. <laughs> we'll make Ghana this color here. We'll bring the transparency up, and just like that, Ghana is now adopted. And also, I received a message from a guy, John H. He says, "I told you the Republic of the Congo, but I just got in trouble. It's actually the D Democratic Republic of the Congo." So I will be moving that color over later. And then Sally Luz, uh, continue there. Gotcha, Paul. Thank you. That's the call. I saw it right there. And then finally, Sally Luz, who came in and adopted Cuba. So this is what we're doing. So as we go forward, guys, or you feel a connection, we want to get this entire map colored in, um, showing support. And yes, we do show that map on the front to the soldiers. Jania, what do you think, buddy? Yeah, I'm here. I know you're there. Six I'm minutes. Gonna... Six minutes, guys. Six okay, minutes. Okay, first, call. one more time. Do all you want, this. brother. One... Thank you for helping uh, standing my country against of Russian aggression. Not some local conflict. Full invasion, Russian aggression, killing people. They killed my friends. They killed my classmates. They killed the, the, the guys. Uh, I, I was, I mean, helping to grow uh, in years. So uh, it's a war and uh, Russia is a terrorist state, no question. The question is, uh, one to a couple seconds about, uh, seconds about F-16. The F-16, uh, it's not the magic pill, sorry. It depends, it's a platform and it, it depends on the quantity we will get. But most important, it will. It really depends of the uh, equipment level, and uh, uh, we, it will have because uh, avionics and the other stuff, the radars system. It, it it's a really big difference. It can be really old ones, and it can be really new ones. And as well, the what they will be carrying because the the jets is the jets, but what kind of missiles it will have? It's a big difference. It's it will it will make uh, I mean a big difference if it be like a lot of and new one. 
I mean, with at least newest the technologies, the uh, radars and so on. And it can be the old story, let's say, it will help for sure. But if it be like a small quantity, then it will be the picture like some we will surely, it's a war. Some may be shut down if we will have some. And, uh, and this is my like worry. I, I mean, the every help should be effective, should be calculated. And people has to check the details when they hearing something about like what kind of help it. I mean, it, it goes because like uh, the same with the tanks, the same with the air defense system, because some of the things Ukraine got it was really old, and um, that's it. Like I mean, and it's it helps and it's important. Four minutes. Thank you guys, and we're gonna stop it. Um... Someone, hey, Greg, can you show the flag flag again? The yeah, show the flag again. This is it, guys. Four minute call. This is from the front line. Um, full size flag signed by Fish and his partner there on the front line. Uh, with the drawing of tell, tell them who fish is just in case they don't Put know Shevchenko um, Zhenya, you go ahead and tell who fish is how long we've known him fish is the soldier Ukrainian soldier who fights uh, against of Russian aggression uh, the guy who had who had a business nice family and nice kid and uh, and he so wanted to stop the war then he made the decision he went to military office and said i want to stop this and at this moment he's fighting on the front lines and he support uh, all the way he he does every, uh, all the way he of everything he can for ukraine different units not just his unit and other units will get more help and he shares the truth about Ukraine, about fights, and big respect. Um, and here is his call sign right off his jacket given to me. Um, just had a message come in, uh, Color Peru. There's two minutes to go. Somebody bought uh 10 tickets on buy me, buy me a coffee five minutes ago but you didn't put your name there it's just the generic someone i don't know who you are if you could please i'm, I'm replying to you this second um and i'm saying your name please or call sign um because i want to be fair we do everything and we're going to do this right online in front of everybody tonight um so a couple of minutes someone if you can reply while we do that. Um, Professor Gertis, one more question. If Haley had won, the non-MAGA Republicans would all go back to pushing Biden to do more. It's all politics. Once Trump became the nominee, it all went to heck. So there's a real, like I said, a really interesting schism within the Republican Party. I think some of the MAGA will, wouldn't come along with Haley, just like I think Haley is going to do... A, Haley might do as well as RFK in write-ins in this next election. I like right. There's there's people that will not vote for Trump who maybe voted for Trump before who would go with Haley moving forward um, and are probably just going to throw away their vote on Haley because they can't they can't do Trump and they can't do Biden. So, um, but but there's a schism and people like Marjorie Taylor Greene keep pounding the the drums that are bringing us the wrong direction uh just continually kind of moving us down that path and it's frustrating to watch what's happening to my party yes ten dollars canadian mitch ashdown greg could you type up a write-up and send with the flag it could make it mean more to the winner when showing it so that's a great idea what we yeah. will do 
Yeah, I explain will, what happened, the process. I will actually provide a picture of fish with it. You'll have a picture of fish, Jania's little backstory about fish, and um, I'll print out also from like Wikipedia or something who Taras Shevchenko is, the artist, or the, the picture that's drawn there. I can't tell you where fish is. I can't tell you what unit he's with. None of that. All I can tell you is... Front line, signed on the front line, the real deal. Um, but yeah, we, will, we will, uh, I mean, this is not Amazon, guys. This was there. Um, okay, Silver Earth, I get that. Um, and we're going to, I'm going to show one video here. And this is what's goofy. And when this video ends, um, Dramatic pause. <laughs> uh, dude, I'm like going nuts with my mind. If, if my uh, shout out to my wife tonight for running all the back end over here. Thank you to her. Uh, thank you to the mods. Guys, my mods are going nuts. Okay. And Paul Deberitz, Yana, uh, Skeg, King Raccoon, uh, Nate. All of you guys, but really, Paul, man, you're like a stud. And big shout out to Paul and uh, King and Skag in here. Uh, Susan Camp just sent 50 through Bethel. I'm getting you in here now. Um, everybody's trying to get in on the last moment. Yeah, they're, just, they're getting cutting it close. That's okay. This isn't an eBay auction. No, this isn't an eBay. <laughs> no, this is saving <laughs> lives. Um, Linda S., I got you. <laughs> amazing flag uh fish is a good guy use social media very natural like a fish in water at least that's comparison i had on first impression yeah fish is a great great team member a good friend and um i can tell you that uh fish and the reason he has his name i showed it on my stream not too long ago is fish is a fisherman uh yeah certificate of authenticity that's exactly what i'll be providing with the flag thank you for that um I think we're good there. And then I'm going to close it. Now, I'm going to show a video. I have to apologize. Pete sent me this video today, just a little while ago. Jania, do you remember what we bought in Haruki for Pete when he said nobody else could find it? Yeah. Well, what did we buy? Uh, the helium? Uh, the tank? The tank. Yeah. Yeah. And then the we tank. went. Then we went to with the front. The... We went to the front with Pete, and we did a live and gave all the gifts from the shills and everything that people yeah. had donated for and Pete. We... And Pete said, "Well, let's test the helium." And then he's sucking the helium in, and he goes, "Hey guys, don't worry about it. I'm a medic. I know what I'm doing." He's sucking in the helium. <laughs> how, are, how are you guys doing? Okay. So Pete sent me a video from today, and by the way, Pete's mother will soon be to Pete. And Pete and his mother are coming live on my show. We're going to interview Pete's mom. Okay. 87 from South Africa going to the front line in Ukraine. All right. I'm pretty good at video and editing, but Pete sent me this video and it is upside down and I can't rotate it. I've done everything I can do. I'm going to send it to Virginia, <laughs> see if he can fix it. And I'm unable to beep out Pete's one word. I usually <clears throat> clean up. The beep, but um, here you go. This is upside down, but just turn your phone over or stand on your head. Here you go. Greg Terry and everybody <laughs> from the Greg Terry Enjoy. experience. You guys recently provided us with balloons and helium for us to practice shooting down drones. Well, here goes. All right, first balloon coming out, boys. There we go. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Don't fucking shoot each other. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Was it me? Was it you? <laughs> Another one. 
Okay, listen, let this one get a bit more distance. Okay, can you come forward a bit? Just go, wait for it to get about 50 meters. 50 meters away. Ready? Ready? Yep. Ah, fuck off. Okay. <laughs> Well, you get to see Ukrainian sky. Wait for it to get a bit further distance. You can hear. Okay, fire. Oh, he got it way up there. Did y'all see it? Look here, look here. Uh, look in the tree branches at the top of the screen. Wait for it to get a bit further distance. Right there, right there. Okay, fire. Boom. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm good. That was Pete there. Uh, so listen, where else? Let me get back to here. Where else are you going to come on a Friday night? Watch Pete upside down, drop a color, call a couple of Dick Dawson words and shoot balloons out of the sky upside down. <laughs> might've been better upside down. It might've been. It was really good. Uh, Holly, you got a message in here. Thank you for your service and helping us tonight. You're welcome. Um, that's it guys. I'm going to count it down. Okay, let's go. I am. I'm sorry. Give the people what they want. Greg. I am. Here we go. Uh, I got the last one in there from Tom K and those are in there. I'm going to switch us now. We're done. No more tickets. If you donate now, you're not in the flag drawing that them went seven minutes extra for you. I'm now going to go to, uh, the screen as soon as I can hmm. find it. Sorry. Here we go. So as you can see, guys, we have sold 700 sold. We have, what's the word, prof? We have, um, yeah, sold 700 works, raffled, raffled 758 tickets tonight. Wow. I think right now what you guys need to do is just pause and think about that for a second. 758 raffle tickets. What is that? $7,580 $7, toward the snatches. Let's just call it 76. That's plus uh, 244. We were at 244, 748 locked, meaning accounted for. There's more in the pipeline. Like when people give electronically, it takes a couple days to process through the stripe system. So we're at 252, 328 right now. 252, 328. Thanks to all of you wonderful people. That's you guys tonight being heroes to help the heroes. Um, <laughs> Pete is like the U.S. upside down. Now that's good, the man of the wood. Thank you for that. That's funny. <laughs> All right, so now what do I do? You can see I've got everybody's name, all the tickets you've bought by name. My wife has been in there. There is Diane S., okay? If Diane wins, she's out, meaning I will spin again because she bought 300 tickets and we made an executive decision. Look at that early in the stream um, to send her a flag. So Diane S and then you can see everybody. Oh, let me keep going. Um, you guys have just done awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So now what am I going to do? I'm going to do it real time for you in front of you. I'm going to file and I'm going to download a CSV right in front of you. It is downloaded 41224 flag raffle. I feel like I'm Rick the Ukrainian. Now I'm going to come over to the randomizer and we're going to upload the 412 CSV. Boom. 758 names are in there. 758 came from the spreadsheet. $7,580. All of your names are in there. Just like that, guys. 758. I come down. One winner. We're going to do 
Wheel of Names, one winner. Click it. And what colors? Uh, let's go all colors. No, let's go love, 10 colors, because this is all love going to Ukraine. And there, it's so small because of the people's names, okay? <laughs> 758. Jania, can I get a drum roll, please? Hit the button. 10 seconds. <laughs> Holly, come watch. The winner is James B. James B. You are the winner of the flag tonight. You're on camera. You can come say hi. <laughs> <laughs> James B, congratulations to you, dear friend. You will receive the flag tonight. And to all of you guys out there, what an awesome way to spend a couple of hours on a Friday night. It's a lot of work right there, but well worth it. We just made a massive jump on the snatches. And what we say is thank you. Thank you to all of our... Um, Mods, thank you to everyone donating. Jania, thank you for being here so late in the night, but thank you, Dr. Gertis, for taking your Friday night away from your family. Thanks to Dick Dawson for being here earlier. I, I knew that there was no way to do this by myself or even just Jania and I. It's too much work. Keep the conversation going. Um, so congratulations. Two flags going out tonight. First flag going out to James B. James B, please, gregterry.org front slash contact or go to the website, send me the email with your preferred mailing address. I will know it's you because we have the information in the other room. And also Diane, please email me as well. Your preferred shipping, two flags going out tonight and we say thank you. Final comments, we'll go with you first, Prof, and then we'll close with Jania. No, it's, it's just awesome to watch. So the two flags went out. Seven thousand five hundred eighty dollars were uh, contributed here to two hundred fifty-two. Now remember, that's two hundred fifty-two thousand dollars out of two hundred thousand. Correct. <laughs> so we're we're on our way to the fourth one, which is what what are we looking at? Two sixty to get to to the fourth one. Yeah, and let so me, I think we're going to blow right past that. We are, and let me explain this to you. 260 is not just the purchase of the vehicles. 260 mm -hmm. is the full package. That means yeah. the four vehicles, all of the export, all of the license, all of the import, all of the registrations that we need to deal with, all of the radar jammers, winches, tires, night vision, plus the convoy. I'm going to drive one of them jokers to the front. I can't wait. The convoy to get them there, drop them off in different places on the front with a full tank of diesel and hand the keys to the medics. And you guys will watch it all. It's turnkey. So Dick Dawson pointed this out that we're approaching a quarter of a million dollars. We actually just passed a quarter of a million dollars. Mark, we did tonight. physically. Like we just this. passed a quarter of a million. And if you guys will be, uh, just hang for one second. If if PK was in here, I could tell you. But remember, until Professor Gertis took a chance on me and Jania and Johnny Pierce. And that all came because of one of my moderators, King Raccoon, who kept pestering Pierce and said, I really think you need to talk to Greg. I think he's legit. And the next mm -hmm. thing you know, I still have the email. Professor Gertis sent me and said, hey, I saw you and Johnny. Maybe we should chat. Guys, then it was Rick, Starsky, Mercado, Warthog. Now, Dick, all these others are just coming. Jonathan from Silicon Curtain. It's just relationship after relationship after relationship. And there's so many others. I'm going to stop calling names because there's others I think about. Secular Sakai has been a big help. Why Ukraine been a big help. There's tons. And I don't, there's even more. Thank you. Um, but I can tell you this from day one of the war, when Jania and I were doing a live stream and we were on when the 
invasion started. And he says, man, the missiles just started. The tanks just crossed the border. We were live. And I said, Jenya, we're going to help. We're going to stand together. This is nuts. And we were like in tears almost. And we thought seven, 10 days, really. And Putler would take his tanks home. And that's it. 779 days, we're still here. If you are to total up all the donations that our church did and people around the world that just knew us, but no YouTube, no global community, I was doing an update, 20, 30, 40 viewers a night. That's it. Mm -hmm. If you total up all those numbers and include the huge bump that came right at Christmas when we started these campaigns, we are at almost $600,000 of aid supplied to Ukraine. We're 400K from a million, man. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Hey, can, can you find that link to that, that day one? I'd love to see that video. Absolutely. I will send it right yeah. to you. Yeah, I've got yeah. it. I've got the whole war documented. So as you do. So thank you. Guys, all we can do tonight is say thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody take some rest. Go check out another streamer or enjoy time with your family. Go have dinner. Jania, you go to sleep. Last words for you, Jacob. Uh, big, warm thank you to all people in here, all, and who will be watching, who supports, who are donating, who are helping, encouraging shares, and that you sharing your life with my country, with the people on the front lines, with the people, with the kids. Thank you very much. God bless you. Mitch, I got your super chat there. Yes. Uh, can I add more work for you to that write up that the flag was? Uh, for thanks and one in the raffle for and describe the snatches. Absolutely. That's a great idea. Thank you, Mitch. I did get that. Guys, thank you so much. And this is the way we're going to end tonight. Professor Gertis will give his normal sign off. Jenny and I will give ours, which is not Slava Ukraina. Mubuyum Dilit. Good night to all, to all a good night. And then we'll let Zelensky say Slava Ukraina and the soldiers say, get on Slava. This is a five part closeout. We'll start with Prof. <laughs> so thank you all for being the kind of people that care about Ukraine. A good night to all. To all a good night. Woo! Slava Ukraini!